I'm Kit. Oh, and I'm Joni. <laughs> and we are the co-founders of Practically Perfect. Today, we are going to be showing you how to fold socks. This is part of our larger folding series. And today we're focusing on those fun little pieces of fabric that hug our feet every day. I love the way you said that. <laughs> um, so we have in front of us 16 pair of socks. These are dress socks just because we pull dress socks because look at the patterns are all so super cute they're today. so cute we're going to show you how to fold socks in a way that's easy to maintain and that will help you to find your socks so that you don't have any lost soul mates yes see what i did there i do soul s-o-l-e so as kit said these dress socks are beyond cute but we also can just say that this is the standard size for even like a white tubular sock that you might wear and after we show you how to fold these ones, we will also show you how to fold a shorter athletic sock, mm -hmm. as well as a no-show sock, which is my preferred sock of choice, and an extra long sock. A knee-high, if you will. Oh, I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> well, I think there's two ways to fold socks. The right way and the way probably everybody else does it. This reminds me a lot of our bra <laughs> folding video. If you watched our bra video in the first set of folding tutorials, yeah. there is a way to fold your bras in a nice tidy way and with a smaller profile, but it, it can do damage over time to the structure of the cup. Yeah. And so the same with the socks. I think a lot of people see pairs of socks that are put together like this, and I completely understand why, because you're grabbing a pair and you know that the two are together. But I do think it's worth noting that over time, folding your socks like this will do some damage to the elastic because there's yes. another element of pulling on the socks. And it's not the best way to take care of the fabric. So it's similar to the bras in that we're just gonna tell you that you can do it either way and your practical is your perfect. Yes. And so by all means, feel free to continue rolling and throwing. Let's just show people how to fold their socks in the other way. So this is the way that you would fold your socks to protect the elastic. So you have longevity in your socks, fewer better, less buying. Totally. Okay, this could not be easier. All we have to do is fold the socks in half. So you're marrying the toe of the sock to the top and then you're just folding it again. Voila, so easy. And look, they even stand up on their own. Is that cute? That's kind of impressive. I know, I'll just do one more. I'm literally taking the toe, bringing it up to the top and folding it in half again. How cute is that? So cute. So this is a great method if you just wanna line your socks up in the drawer. Um, and we're gonna fold all of these socks right now so that we can show you a few other storage options for a collection of socks. Let's do it. Okay, so we folded all the socks, and I think there's a couple different kinds of socks that we'd like to show you how to fold. Athletic socks, no-show, knee-high. I'm gonna grab them. <laughs> you know, I think we should start with the knee-high because it's so similar. It's the same it's method of folding. a lot of extra fabric. Those might be a thigh-high. They're not, I'm not that short. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so really, it's the same method as a standard sock. It's just that you have more fabric. So we're just gonna fold in half. We're gonna fold in half again, depending but on that's your- that's it, no, I don't, nope, oh, oh. Oh, it's a no. It's, I, it's fighting I, you, then, I can see it. Then I might go in thirds mm. with this one. And I think this is just kind of trial and error as you fold, is to figure out, do I need a half, do I need a third? I'm liking that a lot in a half and then a third. What do you think though? You seemed really to have big feelings about it. I don't respect elastic, so I'm a roller. So I fold the toe up to the heel and then the heel up to the middle of the knee high and then this top part gets rolled down just about midway so it's kind of meeting with the fold there and then you just tuck it all in. And for whom might this be the most practical way? For me, obviously. <laughs> Um, no, I just, I think maybe people who have a lot of knee highs, I think that this is really prone to a lot of floppiness and uncoupling in the drawer. Mm -hmm. And so I know it's not ideal for the elastic, but in terms of keeping your socks together and being able to quickly find what you want and grab it out of your drawer, I personally think that this rolling method is the, is the jam. Okay. Options. You have to do what's practical for you. True. Okay. And then there's the athletic socks. 
you want to talk to us about folding athletic socks? I do, and I think it's the same two options here. You can either roll or you can fold. Most people buy these type of socks in a package, um, so you have several of the same pair of socks. And I think that's where you get prone to a lost sock, um, a missing soulmate. And so I do think for that reason, a lot of people might argue that a preferred method would be to keep these tucked together. Mm -hmm. And if you're worried about your elastic, I think that you can absolutely just fold these socks in half, or I actually like to do mine just in thirds and just kind of line them up in the drawer. And then the no-show socks, Oh, these ones are always frustrating. These are actually my personal favorite type of socks. Oh, my heel. This is not new. And these new, socks are not, not friends. This is not a new conversation. And it's really frustrating. I like the look of a no-show sock. You like the non-look of a no-show sock? <laughs> yes. Okay. These little socks, I like to just tuck one into the other. And so there's a little grippy on the back of the heel and I make sure that I marry those together so that they're facing the right direction. And then I literally just tuck one okay. into the other. I always think it looks like a little boat. And then I kind of just use my fingers to make sure they're placed thoughtfully. And then otherwise, if you don't like that idea, you can, you can fold it in half. No Show Socks by Joni. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we've shown you how to fold all the various socks. Um, I will mention that we have used this drawer insert mm -hmm. to organize our socks. I don't use this specific one in my drawer, but I know you do. I do. Um, but my drawer actually does have dividers that are divided literally, literally like this. It's a great way to keep your socks separated and file folded standing up so you can see all of them. And you can also divide it by type, right? You could put your dress socks, your athletic socks, your knee highs, easy to label. Yep. Nice too is I actually don't own this many socks, so all of my socks fit in one section. And so I use this for socks and for undies and for um, actually little camisoles. So it's oh. nice to know that you can sort of use this for things other than socks. Yeah, so we will link to this below. And if you're a person who loses socks occasionally, we've got a great little trick coming up in a future video. Yeah, it's an all-time favorite hack. It is. Yeah. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Well, we hope you learned a little something today and enjoyed holding socks as much as we did. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button below. And remember, if it's practical for you, it's perfect for you. Thanks for joining. I feel like in every way, you're doing the Joni right now. I am. Keep doing it. I'm like channeling the Joni. For some reason, I really like it. <laughs>